This is normally when I give you a teaser about the upcoming episode. I do have a general idea of the topic, but to be honest, I have no idea what's fixing to be said. So let's find out. Background Noise, the Henson Family Podcast starts right now. All right. Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for being here with us and listening. I am here with my ride or die, Amy Elise. Hey, hey. How's, How's it going? I'm doing well. How about yourself? Good. How was, how was your week? The week was very productive. Mm-hmm. In what yeah. way? I got the um, sway bar links and the um, struts changed on the van and saved us quite a bit of money. So Whoa. we need to do a, a DIY episode at some point and talk about how to get your uh, degree from YouTube University. <laughs> Very nice. Um, so pretty good week for me. I'm on spring break. So that's that's awesome. Um, again, I work with FISD, so I've been off all week. And we have guests with us today. So that's a good segue into what we're going to be talking about today. Um, our very special guest is my sister, Angela, and um, her daughter, Alex. So my only niece is with us today. And I do have to say that Angela Kate, our daughter, is named after Angela. That's right. Little Bit is named after my sister Angela. So, mm-hmm. yeah. So, anyway, we are here today with them. And, uh, you know, we have a lot of stories we've told ov- over the years uh, around the kitchen table. And one of the favorites is how my niece Alex met her Hello. husband, Christian. Mm-hmm. And so, let me give you just a quick background. Um, first of all, my sister Angela lives in Tennessee. That would and be me. Yeah. So, say, otherwise known as Auntie. That's right. Or Mimi. Yeah, that's right. So, or Angela, Ange. say hi to everyone real Hello, quick. Hello, guys. Okay. So, that's my sister, and we will call her Auntie. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then everyone say hello to Alexandra, my niece. Hello. Okay. And, and we'll call her Alex. So um, anyway, so one of our favorite um, discussions is how Alex met her husband, Christian, and just that, that, that that's a very fun story. Mm-hmm. So uh, we're so going to, we're going to jump right in. So Alex, uh, tell us a little bit about when you first met Christian, like uh, we're talking the very first time, maybe you even laid eyes on him. Like, what was that like? Okay, so I, let me go back before Christian for a second. I didn't date around, really, like in high school. I didn't, okay. um, I didn't have boyfriends before Christian. He was my first. Okay. I had crushes for sure, mm-hmm. <laughs> but never like a real dating situation. Okay. Okay, so I went to Franklin High School in Franklin my sophomore and junior years of high school, and he went there all four years, and he was a grade behind me. So he, let's see, I I was, when my sophomore and junior year was his, what would that be, freshman and sophomore year? Yeah, one year behind. Yep, right. we had gym class together. Mm-hmm. Um, but I didn't know him. I, I wasn't friends with him. He was a great under me. We didn't have the same friends, mm-hmm. but he knew who I was because mm-hmm. one of his friends and I had a crush on each other. Um, and he talked about me. So Christian knew who I was because mm-hmm. of that. Christian talked about you? No, the his friend. The friend. Okay. Um, and he, he and I, we didn't date, but we kind of had a crush on each other and it kind of ended poorly. And so he said not great things about me. (laughs) And Christian said to him, and again, I didn't know him. I had no idea who he was, really. Um, Christian said to him, well, I'll take her off your hands. (laughs) Oh, But he never talked to me. Um, Okay. So that was kind of wishful thinking. That's the first time I've heard Mm. that. Okay, so that was kind of our, or really, not for me, but his first, like, introduction to Alex Marable. Okay, and then um, my senior year, his junior year of high school, I was homeschooled my senior year. His junior year, he was still at Franklin. We were on the opening crew for a restaurant called Culver's in our hometown, Franklin. Okay. And so we opened the restaurant together. We were a part of the opening mm. crew who, who, like, started the restaurant. And um, we 
we still, though, for months didn't know each other. And one Saturday, we were put on drive through together. So he was the one on the headset taking mm-hmm. orders. And I was the one filling drinks for the drive through So it was just mm-hmm. the two of us. Okay, so I have a question okay. I'm going to ask. Mm-hmm. First impressions at this point, right? Because you have worked mm-hmm. with him a little bit. Mm-hmm. What are you thinking him. about this guy? Or, or was there any thoughts at this point? Okay, thoughts in the back of my head. I knew, even though I didn't really know him, I knew he went to Franklin, and I knew that he was friends with that old crush of mine. The one that talked bad about you right. afterwards. Yes. Yeah. So I... Talking bad about me was not warranted, by the way. I would agree with that. Yeah. He totally. was a big How dare he A-word. talk about my daughter? Yeah. Right. He did mm-hmm. not need to do that. Yeah. Anyways. Mm-hmm. He, Don't get on Auntie's bad side. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh. He gave him a run for his money. Let, let me just interject oh, something real quick to bit. our audience. Yeah. Me and my sister, Angela, sound a lot alike. Yes. <laughs> so you're going to hear both both of us reacting, and you're not going to know who's who. Yep. Mm-hmm. So just want to say that. Yep. So, Alex. We could change, we could change <laughs> Auntie's voice. <The> squeaky. <laughs> Talk, Auntie. Okay. <laughs> Should that be Auntie's voice? <laughs> you're going to get me giggling just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll stick with the normal. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Thank so you. let's go back. So, okay, so first thoughts about him. I knew that he knew who I was because of that situation um, and back in high school. Or yeah, we were still in high school, but back at Franklin High. I knew he knew who I was. I knew that he probably had heard not great things about me because this old crush was spreading rumors or had spread rumors. So were you like, so I was like what I know is he, knows- he thinking about me? Yes, but I didn't really care <laughs> because in my head, he was. I knew he was a little bit younger than me. I didn't really like that. I typically had crushes on people who were older than me, like, you know, a year or mm. two older than mm-hmm, me. Mm-hmm. Um, so I didn't, I didn't really care what he thought about me. And in the back of my head, I was like, oh, I bet he's, he had heard those rumors mm-hmm. back when I went to Franklin about me that weren't true. Okay. It wasn't crazy rumors. It wasn't well, like. I mean, crazy, you didn't want to rob like, the cradle anyway. Yeah, I was yeah. like, you know, I wasn't really interested. He was like lanky and so 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 there was me. really no interest there yet. No. He's he's just a guy you work with. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, so I can tell he liked me. Okay, so let's let's uh, Ooh, we need to talk about that. So let let's keep this going. So what's what happened next? Okay, so we were just working drive through together, and he had Christian is a really funny person, and he loves Jim Carrey. And so at the drive through on the headset, talking to customers, taking their order, he would act like Jim Carrey. Oh, goodness. To the customers. I can see that with him. Yes, and I thought it was hilarious. Um, and he liked that I thought it was hilarious. Oh, my goodness. oh I'm sure he just, was. Uh, you were his audience. Beast. Yes. Yeah, fed he the beast. Fed mm. into it. So he would get really animated on drive through talking to these customers. The more you laughed, the more he. The more he fed yeah. into it. This mm. was the early flirtation days. Yes. Mm. And so mm. I, okay, so when, with the drive through the window that he's taken orders at, I I would sometimes run orders out to customers. And so right. there's a sidewalk that goes to the cars that I would walk down taking them their orders that he's standing at the window. And I could tell he was watching me mm. walk the orders out. I just oh knew. Oh, boy. His eyes are on you. I could tell. I just, you know when you can feel someone's watching you? Mm-hmm. I could feel, okay, this kid. He you only, had a target on he's you. He's only nine months younger than me. I got so, you. I so, 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 which, uh, what, 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 what do you think he was gazing at? I mean, I'm gonna keep it PG. Oh yeah, for good. Sure. But keep I just it PG for our audience, at, of course. He but he was a teenage boy, and he was looking. At he was me. looking at this this beautiful woman, yeah. like chick, <laughs> walking away. Yes, teenager. Absolutely. You're what a senior. I'm a right. senior. So, okay. so I was 17. He was 16. And anyways, after that shift. That was the first shift that we had worked together on drive through. He asked me mm. for my phone number. How did that go? I said, I was sure, you know, but I thought, okay, I'll entertain this. But I really wasn't like, you know, super interested. Did he but seem nervous? Was, no. <laughs> not yet. Okay. But we'll not yet. We're, he seemed yeah. very Jim Carrey confident. would not be nervous. Yeah, he seemed no. very confident. Okay. Um, so I gave him my number. After work, he texted me. This is the cheesiest thing, which Christian. Ew, I love cheesy. cheesy. He texted me and said, hey, blue eyes. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we like, go. What? What a line. I, I love it. And my first thought <laughs> when he texted me that was, 
eye roll. Like <laughs> because I mean, you weren't. I wasn't. I you, wasn't like. Yeah. He was just a coworker, right? At this yeah. point, for you, yeah. am I hearing that right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey, blue eyes. I that know. is so. I'm, I'm gonna have I'm to gonna use that on that. you later. Absolutely. Hey, <laughs> what color is it? Are his eyes? Dark brown. Because I might. I might call him. Hey, brown hey, eyes. Brown eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I see him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so what, what happened with that? Okay, so we just started texting back and forth with each other a little bit. We had a few more shifts where we worked together. and Did the flirtation continue? Yes. Mm. But he calmed down a little bit. And did, did you then? feel like you kind of let him go of that other friend that would talk? Yes. You think that kind of got... Eventually, I asked him about it. I was away. like, yeah. I asked him. And he was like, oh, yeah, he, you know... I can't remember exactly what mm. he said, but he he just brushed off like, oh, yeah, he was butthurt or something about the way things went with you guys. And OK, um, he was just talking. That's good. And that then that, he told that me the had story to... about how he said, I'll take her off your hands. <laughs> I Which, love that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, we just kept texting and we would okay. work together. And then sometimes he would call me and we'd talk on the phone. Um, and he hadn't like asked me out yet. Um, but okay, important to note, I didn't have a car. I drove my mom's car to work sometimes, but I didn't have a car yet. Okay. He did have a car. Oh, that's good. Okay. And so that's kind of how he slid his way in with hanging out (laughs) with me. I was like, oh, I can give you a ride home from work. That is a nice. Which I actually had a different job. I also worked at Sweet CC's. I was working two jobs, which is a a frozen yogurt shop. And so he would actually give me rides to and from work. To Sweet CC's and Culver's. It was kind of his way to get time with me. As he'd be like, oh, I'll give you a ride. Since I did <laughs> so much. y'all are just getting to know each other a yeah, lot. Just spending time point. together. Really just commute to and from work. And during this time, are you at all starting to get attracted to him? I would say that I really enjoyed our conversations and what we talked about. Mm-hmm. And I was interested, but I wouldn't say the word attracted. Yet. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I would right. just say I was like, oh, he seems like a good friend. But okay. I knew that he felt more than. Yeah. He, I, he it was very clear that he didn't just want to mm-hmm. be your friend. Well, maybe you felt you could trust him at, the, at least. Yes. Right. You could yes. trust him. He felt he's a so good friend. And so it has to start there first. You yes. have to be able to kind of trust them mm-hmm. before having feelings yes and I felt that, that. you you seem cautious to me mm-hmm. like you wouldn't just throw your feelings out there no he has to gain trust mm-hmm. so you're pretty clear that he was given signals yeah I mean that's so, crazy like, he give, wasn't like give us an example of a Christian signal that hey I like you I mean he wasn't at this point we weren't like kissing on each other holding hands or anything physical at this point you're talking to your mother yeah, keep yeah. it PG baby yeah. well, it's, and y'all are y'all, and y'all are just friends right right we were just friends and he just really so pursued it's like me the like way he that he would... looked at you or the way that um he approached you or the way he um more talked. just the way he pursued me like okay. he just was really forward with texting me calling me wanting gotcha. to give me rides so okay. it was very clear on his interest. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's let's move now to the next. So y'all have been texting. Y'all are just really friends. Yeah. So let's, what happens next? Okay, so the, the first, like, date that we had was really just walking around. Um, he picked me up to take me to work an hour early, and then we walked around downtown Franklin for about an hour before I went to work. So oh. this was a date to him. Was it a date to you? I think it was. I think at this point we had been talking and giving him giving me rides enough now to this point to where I was like, okay, like I I'm I want to see what could happen with this. Okay. Okay, so how tell us about that first date. Okay, so we just walked around for an hour. We didn't hold hands or anything. We were just kind of walking around talking. Did he pick you up? He picked me up. Mm-hmm. Did he um, seem nervous? Like, could you okay. tell? Now, he might say he was nervous, but could you tell if he was nervous? Okay, yes. So this is the first time he picked me up from our house, our Stafford house. Okay, mm-hmm. and Auntie, do you remember this? Absolutely. Okay, so. Granny would remember It's too. pretty unforgettable. Okay, so I would like to get. You uh, tell. You can keep talking, mm-hmm. but I'm going to come over here to Auntie here in a minute because I want to see what she has to we say. We need a play-by-play from Yeah, Because mm-hmm. yeah, this is the first date. This is a big deal. Okay, so I was 
you know, we, I, we were home. Granny and mom were oh. working in the garage. They okay. did something in the garage. Real quick. When he pulled up. Granny is going, it's, so that's uh, me and Auntie, or my sister Angel, that's our mom. Mm-hmm. And uh, the maiden name is Gran. Mm-hmm. Okay, so she just naturally, they call her Granny. Mm-hmm. So Granny was at the time in Tennessee. So Alex, mm-hmm. let's keep going with that. So we, yeah, Granny and Pops lived with us. Mm-hmm. We all lived together in, at our house. And so Mom and Granny were doing something in the garage. I don't know, probably something with Starbuck. I don't know, our dog. And Christian pulls up. He drove a white Jeep, two-door, not four-door. Um, and it was old. It was 95. That's right. I love forgot. that. 95. Love that Jeep. I forgot about that. Yeah. Mm. I think it was 95. Maybe not. It was Maybe a I'm old one. I'm not remembering that right. I don't know. And he parked it in front on the street. And he walked down to the garage. And that's the first time you and Granny met Christian. Mm-hmm. Is to, when he picked me up to take me to work. Mm-hmm. Okay. What, what do you think about him? First time meeting Christian. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, but Alex, were you talking that much about Christian to your mom at this point to where she had some expectations or you're just seeing this really this new boy for the first time? So I'd heard about him. So Alex had approached me and she was like, mom, how do you know when you really like someone? Oh, interesting. Okay. And I was like, well, what's going through your, through your, through your brain? And she's like, well, you know, there's kind of like several guys that I kind of like. But oh, there were there were three guys that I could tell oh, like. Oh, see, work. now you remember. Yeah. Wait, oh, at work. Three different guys. There was there was some okay. there was some pursuing, you know. And I wasn't really sure which one and that so I should. So she was like, how do, how do I know? Yeah. And I didn't ask their names. I did not want to know. That would be TMI for Mama. So I was like, okay, how do you know? I was so like, it's a big question. It is. So I was like, okay, number one, can you say anything you need to say? Mm-hmm. Number two is, can you be yourself? Mm-hmm. Like those two mm-hmm. are like top of the list. Mm-hmm. Can you be you? Can you say what you need to say? Mm-hmm. And you did exactly what you're doing now. You're like, Mm-hmm. The third thing you said was, is, oh, do they said, listen to you? Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. There were three. Mm-hmm. See, thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are they good listeners? Mm-hmm. Does it matter what you say? Mm-hmm. Like, can you say anything? Like, can you say anything? But are they listening? To yeah. It? Yeah. And so you did exactly what you're doing now. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then next thing I know, within at least a week, mm-hmm. it was like... It's Christian mom. Yeah, out of the three guys that yeah. I could tell really were like liking me mm-hmm. at work, I was like, okay. I took what she said and thought about it, and it was definitely Christian that mm-hmm. stood out by far. By far. I mean, by far. Nice. <laughs> okay, so let's continue on the first date. Okay. So tell us about that. I mean, it was simple. We just walked around for an hour and chit chatted, and then I went to work. Because it, at some point, it turns for you. Oh wait, so, so hold on. let so, me back up. I missed something important here. Okay. I think you did. Hmm. He picked me up from work or from the from house from our house to take me to work, and this is okay. I might I might not be getting something right. This was a long time ago. This somehow this was the first time I was riding with him. So maybe I'm getting the timeline mixed up. But somehow the first time I rode in the car with him. I'm I'm getting the timeline mixed up. Forget it, the details. Somehow the first this was mm-hmm. the same time mom picked or he picked me up, met mom and granny was the first time I rode in the car with him. He was so nervous driving. Mm-hmm. He was kind of a new driver. He was 16, y'all. He right. had just gotten his license. Right. <clears throat> and probably the first time he had driven a girl around and he was so nervous and I hadn't experienced him super nervous before because so, so he was so confident you, to this point. So you saw that he was nervous. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, it, it's not like so he was nervous. shaking or anything. He just, I could tell he had a lot of nervous energy and on our way to work, y'all, he ran, I think three stop signs and one <laughs> red light. Okay. This is no lie to our audience because no. I've heard these stories. So Christian gets nervous, and yeah. and I think he probably wasn't nervous before, yeah, because it wasn't 
a date. Right. Like once it was like official, like more of a date. Yeah. I think the nervousness started kicking in. Yes. And it it, it was like affected him physically. Yes. He like couldn't drive all the time. It's, it's very funny, but you think about the stop signs. Like, yeah. That's Jim scary. Carrey can only take you so far. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the confidence of Jim Carrey. And he, his Jeep is really clunky. It's a stick shift. And he was pretty good at the stick shift, but you know, still, it's like kind of, he's a new driver. So it's kind of jarring. And yeah, he blew through three stop signs and one red light. Yeah. And when he dropped me back off at home, I, so I, you know, we walked around for an hour. I worked my shift. I came, he dropped me back at home. Mom and granny were obviously like, so. <laughs> and I was like, what I up? will never ride in the car with him again yep. to save my life because it's dangerous. Oh, just what your mama wants to hear, right? <laughs> I was like, you go, girl. Who is this maniac driving stop signs with my daughter? Mm. Uh, okay, so the so okay, you've had the first date, mm-hmm. and so we're going to start progressing now a little quicker through your relationship and to, yeah, to marriage. Great. Okay, so great. tell us how now that you you got past that first date mm-hmm. and and how that progressed. Okay, so after that, we just really kind of started hanging out all the time. I mean, we just, you know, I went over to his house. It was Christmas time. So we started dating, officially dating in November of 2012. 2012? 2012. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, yeah, 2012. Because, mm-hmm. yep, it was 2012. And then for Christmas, I went over and watched a movie at his house. We watched um, It's a Wonderful Life. Mm-hmm. That was the first time I had seen that movie. Um, and we just kind of started hanging out all the time. And he, um, at our house, we had a ping pong table upstairs in our bonus room and he would come over and hang out and play ping pong with my young, I have three brothers, my youngest brother, Beck, he would play ping pong with him Mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, and I liked that about Christian. Like Mm -hmm. he wasn't afraid to jump into my family. Like we would watch football games in the basement with granny and pops. We'd have sub sandwiches, watch a football game. Mm -hmm. So were y'all holding hands at this point? Like were Uh, y'all holding hands? Our first kiss wasn't till January. We were with our friends on January 1st, which, you know, when the ball dropped, when it turns midnight, you kiss somebody, obviously. Yes, tell us about that. Oh. And he refused. We were like, this is... We were just really strong. Both of us are pretty, like, um, we hold pretty true to our, like, morals and, like, the things that we think are right. Both of us do. Okay. And so in front of all our friends, they were all, they knew we hadn't kissed yet. And they were all like, okay, like, are they going to kiss for the first time at midnight? And we were like, yeah, no. (laughs) (laughs) And so we didn't. But January 3rd, we did. What when a we were on. <laughs> okay. So our first kiss is actually nice. a really cute story. And that's the moment he knew he loved me. So we started dating officially in November. By January, he knew he was fully in love with me. And you? What about you? Where uh, were you at? I think I was, but I think I was afraid to say, like, okay. he didn't tell me that he loved me. He just knew that he did. I was afraid. I think that felt too big to me. And I just was kind of like, I didn't want to. I get it. You, you, you're you probably more guarded. I'm more sure. guarded than he mm-hmm. is, for sure. Yeah. And so anyway, our first kiss was, it was a snowy night in Franklin, a blizzard, like a, for Franklin, a blizzard was coming through. And I have a horse and he needed his blanket on for the night because it was snowy. He was going to be cold. And it was probably like eight o'clock at night. It was dark in January, January 3rd. And I was like, I didn't want to go by myself. And I told my mom, I'm pretty sure I told her, I was like, I'm going to tell Christian he should come with me. So, and he, of course, is like, yes. Mm-hmm. So I went, I was in our blue van. I picked mm-hmm. him up and mm-hmm. he drove out to the farm to put Wolfie's blanket on. I get the blanket, run out, grab Wolfie, put his blanket on. And we're driving back. And he just knew, like, I love this girl. Oh, and he didn't say that. that to me. He was determined not to say I love you until he proposed to somebody. So he did not. He obviously didn't say it. And then driving back, we passed by on Hillsborough Road. We passed by his church. And he's like, you should pull over. We should just sit in the parking lot and talk for a little bit before we go back home. Oh, that's an ulterior motive if I I've ever heard one. And so I did. I pulled over and he just, I mean, laid a kiss on me. I mean, he just, like, pulled in, and it wasn't, like, a, a long kiss. It was just, like, a, 
like a quick, I break I, the ice. I yeah. can't wait to hear his side someday. Yeah. If, if he planned in his mind, you know, I am going to kiss her. I'm going to do it. Did well, he I talk, think he was very strategic. You know, did he talk himself into it? And there it know. goes. Yeah, he but has no idea this is being recorded at the moment. Yeah, he doesn't so. know. It's a surprise. <laughs> this is awesome. So anyway, he just kisses me. And I was like, oh, boy, that was my first kiss. I had never kissed, it, kissed anybody before. Um, it was his second kiss. He kissed a girl freaking like five months before he met me. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I'll, I'll forgive it. Oh. So, anyways, that was really sweet, and mm. I was really happy. And then he drove me home, and I went and I told mom. Mm-hmm. I went. She was laying in bed. I got home. I don't know, probably ten o'clock or something. And I went and I like crawled into her bed. Mm-hmm. And I, was like, I said something so stupid. I was like, "These lips have been kissed." <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> sister, auntie, auntie, mm-hmm. are you thinking this could be something? Yes. At this point? Yes. Because this is still new in there. I know my daughter. Okay. Hooked, line, and sinker, baby. So, Alex, yeah. I have a question for you. <laughs> yeah. Because um, I guess we kind of understand now how you met. Mm-hmm. What is it about Christian mm. that was different? Like, what made you fall for him? Okay. A lot of the things that mom told me to think about, he really cared about what I had to say. Mm-hmm. And I can tend to be a little bit of like a slower thinker. I can sometimes be more shy with people that I don't know. And not always speak my mind. But I could do that with him. Mm-hmm. I could tell he cared about what I had to say. He asked good questions. Mm-hmm. He had some harder things going on in his family at this time, and so did I. And we were really able to connect about that. And he could talk about the hard things going on with his family, and I could talk about the hard things going on with mine. And we were really able to connect about that. Mm-hmm. And it was just really special. And he heard me. I feel like I, I cared about what he had to say. So I think that's probably the main thing of we just had a mutual care. Um, and he was a family guy. He really cared about my family. And I loved that. Um, one of our early days of dating, I have an older brother. We all... Me and my older brother Morgan and Christian and one other friend all went to the movies together. And obviously Christian wants to sit by me. Obviously my brother is protective, (laughs) my older brother, and didn't want him to sit by me. Interesting moment. (laughs) And so we get there and sit down and Christian, I'm sorry, Morgan jumps in front of Christian and sits right next to me so that Christian couldn't. Interesting. And Christian sat down beside Morgan for a minute and then gets up. And goes past Morgan, past me, and sits on the other side of me. Oh. <laughs> That's um, hilarious. Sorry, but that that was a sorry that was a rabbit trail. That's not the question you asked me. What did I like mm-hmm. about him? I liked that he listened to me. I liked that I, you know, really cared about him. Like we just had mutual care for each other, and I liked that he was a family guy. Okay, got it. And kudos out to Christian because I'm telling you, he, he had some cojones. He was gonna make sure. Oh, oh, he he. He, like, dove into the family. Oh, yeah. I thought you were talking about the seating at the movies. Well, (laughs) the seating, too. I mean, that's kind of like, yeah, you might be the bigger brother, but I'm the bigger person in her life. So I will. That's that's a... I will sit by my girl. I know that. Yeah. Okay, so, Auntie, question for you. Yes, ma'am. Do you agree? Like, what is it about Alec, I mean, uh, Christian, that you knew, okay, this guy's it? Like, what did you see as a mom in their relationship? I saw my daughter, my little sweetie pie. Mm, I saw her blossom. Mm -hmm. I saw her like come out of her shell. I saw her really start to embrace this big persona that I saw, Mm -hmm. you know, which is Christian, Christian Boyd. Okay. And yeah, I just, I, I, I did not see her hesitate. I didn't see her like show red flags or anything. It was like total. And this is what my daughter does. When she makes up her mind, she dives in with both feet. And that's what you did with Christian. I, that's so true about Alex. It is so once, true. Once she makes once up the her decision mind, it's made, done. Done. Okay. So I'm the aunt. Mm-hmm. So my perspective is I hear all these stories about 
you know, teenage years, Mm -hmm. you know, Christian was really your first boyfriend, Mm -hmm. but still there were boys that have always been interested that Mm -hmm. you've shut them down. Mm -hmm. Um, So I've heard all these stories. And then I remember first meeting Christian Mm. and I mean, I loved him immediately. (laughs) (laughs) And so with Christian, for me, Mm -hmm. um, he was genuine. Oh, yes. He was genuine. Like, yeah. he's not a phony. It's mm-hmm. not fake. You can kind of tell when somebody's trying to, mm-hmm. I don't know, mm-hmm. put put on a act or something. But he, he's not like that. That's a good word for him. He's genuine. very genuine. And he communicates well, which is, I think, something mm-hmm. that you love. Mm-hmm. Like, you can talk to him. Mm-hmm. He he cares. He's genuine. He talks back. It's, mm-hmm. you, you really, you pick that up or I pick that up immediately. And so I I just love that guy. Just, Mm -hmm. we have time. Can I input one thing? Absolutely. And then I'll have one more question for our special guest here in a minute. Okay. Well, so we need to paint an accurate picture of Christian Boyd. Yeah. What are some other just, you know, because he's, he's certainly not a perfect man. No. You know? Yeah, that whole Tennessee right. Volunteers thing is just... <laughs> it's it's yeah, outrageous, yeah, right? Yeah. I mean, orange. who over wants the, to paint up and I don't know. Well, poor Christian's getting beat up on today. I love you, sweetie. Yeah. So <laughs> so one we thing you, that Christian. from a parental unit standpoint that I kind of loved about Christian mm-hmm. was that he showed his true feelings for you, I feel. Mm. When he threw up his meal, oh my God. thinking about trying to take you to prom. He did. He was nervous. He did. He was so nervous that he could not keep his meal down. No, wait. I take it back. He couldn't hardly eat. He couldn't okay, eat. That's he could ho- not eat. That's hilarious because that, that was my question, and you can finish, is he just didn't get nervous that first date. No. So his nervousness and it impaired him physically that he, when he got around you is one of the sweetest things I remember about him in these stories is how you impacted him that yeah. way. And auntie continue. <laughs> That's awesome. That's so funny. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. So it was, it was just fun. It was like he could not contain yeah. his his anxieties, his true feelings, yeah. and he didn't know how to like manage that. And he so, does now, by the way, yeah, he does. He has but a lot of good good skills now took, to handle it that. It took months. You would think after a couple of dates, somebody would relax a little bit. Yeah, like he he wouldn't have to be anxious. But for would you say months? Months. It, yeah. It, it, that's so sweet. That- and it's because he has such a level of care. He yeah. really cares. And he didn't want to mess something up, mm-hmm. really. He cared a lot, and he didn't want to mess it up. So and as your parent, as your mama, mm-hmm. I knew that, mm-hmm. you know, and I could just see it. And on the inside, it kind of made me smile a little bit. Well, mm-hmm. not just a little bit, but a lot. Because I knew his feelings were, were real. Mm-hmm. They were legit, mm-hmm. you know, and I like that. Okay, so we have a good uh, picture of how you guys met, and Mm -hmm. what a fun story. There's probably tons of other stories about Mm. some of the special special things he's done for for some of these dates you've had. It'll be on a subsequent episode when Christian calls in for the rebuttal. I didn't talk about the first time he held my hand, which is a really good story. I also haven't told the story about the first time we said I love you to each other because, Mm -hmm. teaser, it was not when he proposed. Like he wanted to. Remember, I said. Yeah, he didn't. He wanna... wanted to tell someone, "I love you." When he, he, proposed. he proposed, it was not when he proposed. Can you give us a thirty second go okay. on this? Really, really quick. We had been together probably, oh, I want to say two years at this point. Mm. Oh wow! And okay. I, I was like, maybe, maybe it was a some sometime between a year and two, and I was like, I know I love this guy. And he doesn't want to, I'm respecting that he doesn't want to say it till he proposes. We're not doing that. We're not entering into an engagement yet. But I was like, it's stupid. Like, I know that I love him and I know that he loves me. And we're not saying it because we're not ready to get engaged yet. And that is stupid. Remember I said, jump in with both feet. That's right. Mm -hmm. And I was angry. I was like, I, we would say, I more than like you. Like, what does that even mean? (laughs) It's a 
I'm in, in, instead of saying I love because you because he didn't want to say it yet and I, <laughs> I finally one day I was like I was actually I had a, a car at this point I had bought a car and I was dropping him off at his house and I we were sitting in the driveway and I was like I'm so I'm angry I'm angry that I know how I feel about you and I know how you feel but I think I know how you feel about me and we're not saying it to each other that just feels like childish and and with tears in my eyes, I literally said, I know how I feel about you, and I'm angry that I can't say it because you have this, like, ideal thing that you want to wait till you propose. And he didn't say it to me. Ugh. And I left. I dropped Ugh. him off. I pulled mm. out of the driveway. I was driving through the well, neighborhood. It had to have been heartbreaking. Well. I want to remind you, Christian is, he goes big. I mean, he, like, he doesn't do anything small. He is, he does things big. Right. And so anyway, I pulled up to a stop sign in his neighborhood on the way out and he had been running and jumped in front of my car. I haven't heard this. <laughs> Look, I'm getting chill bumps. And I love this. It scared me because he jumped and I was about I was at a stop sign about to start going again. And he jumped in front of the car and comes over to the driver's door, opens the door. And says, I love you, Alex. I've loved you for a long time. <gasps> was it raining outside? No, it Please wasn't say raining. yes. It wasn't raining. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you I was like, you're just saying that because I was angry. You're like, you're just doing that because I wanted you to. Do you actually want to be saying that to me right now? Or are you just doing it because I was angry? I was like, I don't want you to be saying it just because I was angry. I want you to be saying it because you want to be saying it. I don't want you to be doing it to please me right now. And he was like, I'm doing it because I want to say it. You are right. It was stupid for me to wait when I know how I feel. Yes. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, Alex, in my mind, this is a movie. I hear the orchestra playing. There should be rain going, and he's drenching wet, and it's like, I love you, Alex. I know. That's awesome. It was so sweet. I and love I said, that story. Okay, well, then if you really mean it, I love you, too, and I've been waiting a long time to say it. And I, I love and fireworks that. went off. That's so great. I am so that. glad we are ending on that story. Mm, it's a high that, note. That that is so awesome. Um, and and for our listeners, obviously Christian and Alex get married. We do. We have three kids, and they have they three do. beautiful kids. My Alex, tell us their names real quick. Barnes Gran. Okay. Barney Gran. Okay. And how old is, and just, just tell us uh, names and ages so that we can uh, know okay, that. So Barnes is four. Okay. Osa Promise. Osa is two. And Promise, that's her, that's her name. Osa mm-hmm. Promise Marable. I mean, I'm Boyd. sorry, Boyd. <laughs> I'm sorry. Easy to do. Easy to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That Osa is easy Promise, to do. She's two and a half. I guess mm-hmm. a little over two and a half now. Mm-hmm. And then Lewin Wild. Lewin Isn't that is, awesome? Lewin just turned one. Yeah. Barnes, Osa, and Lewin. Yeah. Uh, we had three, four pregnancies, three live births in three years. That's awesome. We just got in and got busy. Mm-hmm. Well, we are so glad you could share your story. And it'll be nice because someday, you know, your kids can come back and listen to this. Oh, I love <laughs> and, that. And, and hear, I hear your story. Yeah. And and hopefully we'd love to have Christian on sometime and tell Absolutely. his side. And Because I would love to dive into mm. his. Oh, yeah. Uh, we need a rebuttal. His, his feelings mm. and, and all that. That's just. You would love yeah. it. Yeah. So, but anyway, thank you so much for joining us. Auntie. Thank yes. you for, for being here yeah. and just, um, anyway, we really appreciate it. It felt like a true honor. Mm-hmm. Again, thank you both for joining. That's going to be a wrap for this episode. Thank you for listening. If you would, please subs- consider subscribing. If you have any questions or comments about the podcast, you can email us at podcast at hensonfamily.me, podcast at hensonfamily.me. If you're thinking about adding a furry friend to the family, please adopt, don't shop. And we will catch you on the next episode. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out.